going to Mall of the Emirates. I heard it's hard to tell what I've been thinking lately. But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love. You said we had it all. That shit would drive me crazy. Cause outside, outside is no feelings, baby. You say it's hard to tell what I've been thinking lately. But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love. Mummy trafficking and they take mums to make raw tea and curry. <laughs> and no one wants to take my mum because she doesn't make nice raw teas. <laughs> this past weekend it was like a long weekend i didn't film a lot because i'm still getting used to this and i'm quite shy it's awkward taking your your video camera in public and having people look at you weirdly but basically we just shot so i just saw the inside of um the dubai mall and the mall of the emirates and the mall of the emirates are the clips that you've just seen just like a side note if you're going to dubai basically they're the same stores in all the malls but they're like a hundred different malls because everything's like larger than life in dubai i feel like the stock of the mall of the emirates or the other malls like um the burjaman correct me if i'm wrong and i think it's dera city as well i feel like they had like the zara and stuff have better stock because they're less frequented by tourists. Mom and I had like a lot of fun there in terms of eating and whatever but in terms of shopping you might not find like the best stock. <laughs> I went to Bershka right and it was really cool like the vibe was really urban outfitters but I'm um, to my knowledge there is no urban outfitters in Dubai right? I don't think so I didn't see one but if there was one this would be the vibe. Forgive my ignorance because I'm from South Africa and I, like we don't get stores like Urban Outfitters and Bershka here. So let's begin. Um, I got I got this jersey. I got this from Bershka and it's a Chicago with like rainbow letters and my brother always like makes fun of me because he's like I dress like a toddler 
and he, he's, he likes things like Michael Jackson's song ABC. Whenever he sees me in that, so I was just thinking of him and it was like he's gonna really enjoy that tracksuit on me. And I just got matching bottoms. These weren't too badly priced like for normal tracksuits because they were like 89 dirhams. So in, um, you multiply by four if you're talking about South African rands, so it's just like under 400 rands, maybe like 350. But the quality is really good. This, this little guy. This was amazing, this is actually my favorite because it's so cuddly and warm and the quality is so good. And I've seen this color before, it was really in, like I think it was Yeezy 2016. No one can afford Yeezy 2016 or Yeezy anything. And um, Zara and H&M and like I know there were a whole lot of like, I don't know what you call them, dupes, I think that's the word dupes, there were lots of dupes. And this is by far the best quality that I have seen. They said it was like really old season so I'm surprised that like, you know, it's still in. But it's perfect for like library days, right? This was from Zara. It was just basically like a black jersey and it was really cute. It's like really, really soft. Definitely under 100 dirhams. So it's like under 400 rand and I just thought it was so nice like for a dinner with friends or something. And then this one, my mom like, she wasn't as thrilled as I was about it. But um, I've just been looking for a nice pinafore for so long and this is so cute because it's like a dress. And like sometimes they're like very unflattering. And this like pinches around like, I don't know, your waist or something. This is a plain grey t-shirt because you can never get enough of those, right? Um, they're easy to throw on with jeans. Um, unfortunately, recently, Topshop closed in South Africa and they, everyone in the world knows they have the best jeans. So when I went to Dubai, I also got a few pairs of blue jeans, which were really bland. Like, I didn't bother putting it in this vlog because it was just blue jeans, like, you know, everyone's favourite, the lead. So garish, but um, I think it was going for... 50 dirhams and it was just so dressy it was like you know when it's a summer day and you want to dress up but you don't want to like dress up dress up and it was just baggy when you're feeling bloated hashtag the bloated life and it's a sunny mood and it made him i got this is a plain t-shirt i just like the color it was like very american university or do you call it college and i also got this it's i wore it already because i was cold in the mall it's a bit dirty but it's actually the blandest thing it's just a navy blue like a, a crew neck, I think you call it, because it's thinner. It's not like a jersey fabric. I mean, yeah, but it's like a t-shirt, basically. I think it's really cool also tie days or when you're um, sleeping and you want like a sleep shirt, because I love sleeping in baggy. So, the jersey. Um, this I've already worn, as you can see. I, I bought the tracksuit that I'm currently wearing in a baby blue as well, as I said, from Ishki. And, um... I, I matched this jersey with the um, blue, I just tucked it into the blue track pants, I think it's in the clips from the Mall of Emirates, so if you see it, which is really comfortable and they're amazing fabric, but I just think they're so expensive for like a track suit, so like it's something you wear just to like be a bit of a grouch, but obviously you can dress this up, but as a student I don't think it was worth it, especially in retrospect because of the 40% duty tags. This is really cool. I don't know when I'm going to wear it though because I feel um, a bit uncomfortable wearing over the shoulder. I don't think they're that comfortable. But I obviously can't return it. So the shoulder, shoulderless, this wood. It's not a halter neck, but this thing. Another one. I don't usually buy these because they're very unflattering because it's like larger there and like my hips are really large. Try to emphasize my waist as much as possible and this too doesn't do it. But when I did wear it, um, it was very nice. It, it wasn't. It did not feel like a cow, which is which is a good thing always. And I really like the buttons. But um, I'll take a picture. And when I do, I will post it on Insta. And I, this one I saw for my mom's shame. This and it's like a bit backless, but like it doesn't show you a bra strap or anything. So it's just a bit, a bit something, 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 right? A bit zhuzh. Excitement in the hat neck, but it's much thinner. And I just it's like a crop top. And I just thought it was cute. You can also wear this with jeans, but it's a bit see through. So I wouldn't really wear it like uh, my one strap keeps falling off because my one leg is shorter than the other and when I went to the podiatrist, I think that's what you call them she told me and I was like 19 and I found out that my one leg was shorter than the other and I was like that's appalling so embarrassing anyway um <laughs> this is also see I only realized it after I bought it but this is from Asian m and it's also got the pretty sleeve so as you can see this is clearly in this Time of year, I don't know where you're from. Like for us, it's, we're going into summer, but I know a lot of countries are going into winter. And then there's autumn, so I, I think let's settle with autumn. It's like an autumnal stuff. This is this one, which is also really cute. I actually bought this with the intention of matching it with a baby blue one. 
and then obviously it was too baggy and then the pants were baggy and then it had like it just looked shapeless like I was wearing a paper bag uh, no not a paper bag a bin packet right a black refuse bag except it was baby blue and I just it looked so unflattering I was like rather not but this is with that jersey life and especially like when you're studying because finals are coming up and um, I feel like I'm gonna get so much wear out of that because I get cold so easily if you know me and um, the heat is on like two quarters of the year got my gown on always always cold so that keeps it in Dubai I was obviously looking for more student things like jeans tracksuits stuff to match for my jerseys and obviously um, just like warmer things because Cape Town's been really cold at the moment so I hope you like the things that I chose and um, I hope to see you again soon